At the Hyder College of Business, the emphasis that we have is to be the most connected business school with actual business practice of any business school on planet Earth. So we do that in a number of ways. Certainly we have great faculty members who have PhDs predominantly in their disciplines, but we in particular are looking for people who have business experience in addition to their academic credentialing. We have more internship opportunities than we have students to be able to take advantage of those. And in fact, over 90% of our students do at least one internship. If you do more than one internship, our data shows you'll get between three and five job offers. So not just interviews, but job offers. That's significant. We are located in Omaha, Nebraska, headquarters for five Fortune 500 companies. Across the board and across the spectrum, we're trying to make sure that students have an opportunity be, to be involved in real business. We are about forming leaders who can use their business knowledge to promote social justice and improve the world. We have the uh, Apple Campus Store that's run by our students. Now that's not just students working in that, but we are the only student-run campus store in the country. And by that I mean we have a class of about 15 to 20 students, five faculty members that, that help to mentor them in that aspect, and they make all the decisions strategically about inventory, about sales margins, about what their strategy is, and so they're running a business. We think that, that that's a great opportunity for them to be connected with business in such a rich way. At Creighton, you're going to get done with your undergraduate degree in four years. You're going to have a faculty member advising you from day one. And we will make sure that you're on track and, and keeping up in terms of your, your progress. We, the classes are small, They're, we're going to make sure that all your courses are available. And, and you're more than, than just a number here that, that happens to sit in a class. You're an individual that we're going to make sure is, from start to finish, goes through in a concerted fashion. We're not focused on just the next four years for, for a new student coming in. We're focused on the next 40 years for that student. We want you to have the time of your life in the next four years, and you will. The college experience should be a wonderful experience. But at the same time, we're really focusing on what are the skills and the knowledge that you're going to need to be successful over the next 40 years. We also know that to be successful in that paradigm, you're going to need to be a lifelong learner. So we need to be able to give you the skills so that you can continue to refresh your knowledge base, to continue to learn, to continue to grow, to continue to add value to you, yourself, your organization, your, your community over the next 40 years, not just what am I going to do to have fun over the next four years. We require all of our students to take about half their curriculum in, in the liberal arts as a foundation to hone their critical thinking skills. So you're going to take some philosophy and theology and, and, and history, uh, all the, the tools that you're going to need from sciences and, and mathematics to be an educated person so that you understand the world around you and you can put business into the context in which it works, which is the world and our society. We want you to be a great critical thinker, have skills that allow you to renew your knowledge because you know how to teach yourself and become a lifelong learner. Those are the foundational skills that we're going to give you so that you're prepared to walk out day one and add value to an organization and be prepared to not only add value but start that process uh, of continuing to learn and be more value to that organization, to yourself, to your family and your community as, as the years go by. I teach Dean's Fellows Program, and so I have about 30 students each year in which are in a special uh, orientation class, and I challenge those students. You know, one of the things that we require them to do is to read the opinion page of the New York Times and the Wall Street Journal on a daily basis, and then come and discuss those things. I tell the students, you're going to get a very different spin probably on the issues of the day between the New York Times opinion page and the Wall Street Journal opinion page. But it is that diversity of thought 
and then challenging them not to parrot back answers and sound bites that they've heard. Challenge them to analyze the data, to synthesize the issues in such a way and own them. That I think is sorely missing in today's society and for today's business graduates in particular. And we're trying to address that so that people walk out of here not with just a piece of paper, not with just a degree, but with a true education. And with that education, then they're armed to go forth in the world and, and, and make a real difference.